All right, so there's been a lot of talk in the community, and by community I mean Twitter, which isn't real life, but about PAL World and using AI and how scummy it is that they stole the models and yada 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 everything, oh they're ripping off Pokemon, they're plagiarizing, yada yada yada, whatever. Rip off? Sure. Actual plagiarism, stealing AI. Let's let's find out. So like, you know, there's been a lot of posts about it. That it's like this person apologies. It's been proven that Pal World has not made with AI and does not have stolen assets. In fact, look at how the models are one-to-one. -one Twitter user later admitted to scaling to fit them. You couldn't find legitimate reason for anger, and it's they fabricated it. I just read that out loud. I didn't read it properly. Sorry. So. Anyway, let's get into looking at what they have as evidence. So far the lies, Power World stole assets. This taken of the screenshots of those videos proved the Power World models are different. So they made this stupid Luxray thing. I, I mean, yeah, they look similar. Oh my god. Dog? My dog model looks similar? That's crazy. The person that created the misleading anti Power World video admits to hating Power World for glorifying animal abuse. This has nothing to do with plagiarism, they just hate the game for being edgy. See, look, Biofrog, I am doing this because it is disgusting how much Power World glorifies animal abuse. Okay, this is, is this any different from Pokemon? I know, like, oh, you can shoot them now, but is that any different at all from shooting a Hydro Pump square into, like, a little Pikachu's face? Like, let's, let's use our brains for a minute here. I know it's cartoonish, but having water shot at you at that, like, speed would rip the skin and bones off your face, okay? You're killing that animal. One of the best ways to grind in Pokemon, especially for Eevees, is to just run out and kill as many creatures as possible. They're fainting, but what do you think happens when something's, you know, knocked out in the wilderness? with nothing to help it because it doesn't have a trainer. It dies, a slow, painful death, okay? Anyway, ignoring that part, let's continue looking at the, the evidence. I feel a little regretful for using exactly so flippantly here. I was trying to be silly, but I think I gave an incorrect impression. I want to emphasize that while some elements are similar, these meshes are not really exact copies of one another. Okay, so the models are similar. Let's remember that the people who made Power World, not exactly veterans in the industry, okay? They made a couple games. This was their first real game that they truly like made by themselves, right? The other ones were basically just asset flips. I mean, this one is kind of too, but like they actually made the models and shit. They actually went in and did that. What, what are they gonna model things after? Let's take the Pokemon models and try to recreate them. Shocker, is it, is it really that hard to believe that someone went into Blender and made things that look like Pokemon and were inspired by the Pokemon models? They aren't exactly very complicated shapes, most of the Pokemon guys. But let's be honest here, Luxray ain't that complicated. Wulu ain't that complicated, although round sheep is just a generic thing anyway. Cheshire Catface is not freaking copyrighted by Pokemon. I'm so interested in your perspective. Is there like some common sense test to show that this isn't an accident? I have been counting polygons, but that feels so easy to cover for. Like I could just press a button in Blender and the meshes would be completely different. They're really trying their hardest, all right, to try and cope with the fact that, yeah, they probably aren't stolen. I feel like most amateur artists could go into Blender and make an Eevee model and make it look, at least look exactly the same, almost, right? Mind you, this game was being worked on for over three years. They had time to do this. So this person says scaling them to fit doesn't mean the similarities aren't obvious, it just means that they become even more obvious when you scale them to fit each other. Okay, that kind of makes sense to the dummy brain, right? That kind of makes sense, right? You're just really terrible at this, kind of a dick thing to say after, you know, I feel like we could have a, you know, a civil conversation about this, man. D good try, Goober, since you don't know anything about 3D modeling, I'll explain this to you. If they took existing Pokemon models and edited them to have totally different topology, I don't know what that word means, I'm gonna be honest, they could have just actually modified the proportions at the same time. To edit the entire topology, and arrangement of triangles without altering the overall geometry proportions is more work than changing the overall look of the model anyways. That sounds like he, he owned him, I'm not sure, I'm gonna be honest. 
And then he's pointing out this stuff, which I never really understood. Like, what am I looking at here, right? It's okay. They're snakes and their heads are similar. Okay. What does this prove? Well, who is this for? So that means they modeled everything from scratch, right? So it was a conscious choice to make the model exactly like the original Pokemon design instead of trying something different. If you reference the interviews with the team, they are all brand new to modeling. The highest likelihood is that they used models as references and built their own on top of it. Unoriginal? Sure. Incompetent? Probably. AI? No, never. Was. Theft? Again, no. Be angry and correct. There you go. Like I said before, new team probably just used them as a reference, not plagiarism. Fucking plenty of video games do this. My hair is a mess. The fake outrage over this game is just mind boggling. The AI thing especially, I guess you can kind of go after the, the director or whoever it was who was like, you know what, I think AI could be a real useful tool. You know, that, you know, three years ago, like what every other game dev was saying outside of, I guess, a few indie devs, because, you know, they're right. It will be a useful tool for them. You know, I'm, a, I'm an advocate against AI for the most part, except for, you know, my shorts and stuff, but we don't like to talk about that. They did like they never said that they actually used AI in the game. They never disclosed that on Steam, which you need to do if you do that. And why wouldn't they do that? They've already done that on one of their other games. I can't imagine they did that out of malice, you know, hiding the AIs in it, right? Like, we don't want them to know that we use AI. They don't care because most gaming companies don't care whether or not they use it. It's not a secret. They don't care if it's a secret. They just want to make a game and then sell it to you. These people wanted to, you know, direct from their uh, interview. They're like, we just want to make a game people like. And you know what? I think they did a pretty good job at it. It may be uninspired and unoriginal, but it does what Pokemon fans have been asking for years. And it does what the general audience of gaming like, okay? Survival crafting games sell well for a reason. It's fun to go around and build your own home and have that kind of freedom. Capturing cool Pokemon-like creatures and battling with them is also really cool. Having them work in your base is really cool, all right? There's some bugs, there's some issues with it, but overall the game runs pretty well, for at least for me, unless I'm streaming. And I think, honestly, it, it can become a very big, very, I mean, it's already a very big and successful game, but you know what I mean, like a very long-lasting, super good game if they do this right, if they update it, if they do the roadmap correctly, like the way they said they would. You know, they got PvP and all that stuff coming, bug fixes, bleh, bug fixes, etc., etc. This game could go a long way. You know? Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to make a quick video. I, I didn't really edit it all today, so this is this is me cheating essentially since this came out. Alright, goodbye.